Let's get more on this now by speaking to Tom Gray. He's associate editor with the boxing magazine The Ring. He joins us live from just outside Glasgow. Uh, Tom, great to see you. That was a pretty dominant display for, against a challenger who just refused to go away. Absolutely. I mean, I've seen a few people actually quite critical of um, Joshua's performance. Well, he won almost every round. I think I gave Pulev one round. Um, floored him four times and got a knockout with a spectacular punch in the ninth round. So if you've been critical about that performance, then it goes to show you the expectations that, um, that are on Joshua at the minute. There was a small crowd allowed to attend. Uh, that's one of the yep. first times we've seen people in a, in a sporting arena in the recent months. How might that have influenced the evening? I think, well, for, for both fighters, it's an advantage because they're accustomed to having crowd support, particularly Joshua, because he's at home, let's face it. There wouldn't be many Pulev fans there, but Joshua would have been happy to hear his name ringing out around the arena. It's a sense of normality, even though we're in far from normal times. Tom? Turning to the subject of great negotiations of our time, it's taken nine months for the UK and the EU to reach a deal. They still haven't done it. Will it take just as long <laughs> for Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury, the other heavyweight champion, to negotiate their own fight? Well, I'm confident, um, as confident as I've been that the fight's going to happen in, in 2021. We're at a stage now where the fans aren't going to accept anything less both guys now are coming off of excellent knockout wins or stoppage wins. And this is the time to get it done. It's the biggest fight in British boxing history. It's for all the marbles in the glamour division. Ring Magazine Championship at stake, WBC, WBA, IBF, WBO, you know, two opposing personalities, two different styles. It's an absolutely fantastic fight and nothing in the sport, certainly in the heavyweight division, nothing equals that. Uh, when, when I grew up, Mike Tyson was a household name, even among non-boxing fans. Uh, Anthony yep. Joshua and Tyson Fury, these holders of pieces of the crown, are they well known enough outside the sport now? Yes, I think that, that both of them are, are transcending the sport at the minute. They're really the faces of boxing. You have Canelo Alvarez and, and, you know, I could go on and on and on, but the heavyweight division brings something, you know, very special. It's very special for the sport. It's like top, it's top of the tree. So, you know, certainly at the minute, the fight can't get any bigger. What happens when you marinate it for too long is someone loses and then ends up losing the luster that, that it once had. It's time now to get it on. I think both promoters, which is key here, I mean, the promoters have got a rivalry, you know, in, in terms of Frank Warren, and, uh, and Eddie Hearn, they've got as much of a rivalry almost as what Fury and Joshua have. So getting the fight made, it's been tricky up till now, but I think everyone wants it. The fighters, the teams, the world wants to see it. They can put the promoters on the undercard. Tom Gray, yep. thank you so much.